Why, hello everyone. Welcome to Playframe and welcome to the Forgotten City. I am joined once again by my good friend who has been with us a few times on the channel. Uh, Soraya is here. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well. How are you? I'm doing pretty good on the whole. How are you? <laughs> I asked you already, <laughs> which already kind of gave did. away that I'm <laughs> that I'm a little airheaded today. At the risk of typecasting you, we've brought you in today <laughs> again to play a game that involves something with Roman history. I mean, I, I kind of typecast myself in this one because we were talking about playing another game and I believe I was the first to say, but there haven't been any historical games recently. <laughs> true, true. But I had heard that uh, this game here, which I've not played, but I've heard that this game, which is sort of a puzzle mystery thing, does actually involve a good bit of Roman history in some way. Again, I've not played it because uh, my understanding is it is one of those games kind of like Outer Wilds or The Return of the Oberdin that you can only kind of have that first first time playthrough without knowing what you're getting into once. On that note, for those of you watching, if you've not played this, if you see the first couple of minutes of this and think, hmm, this looks like something I might want to do, please hit the eject button and go play it yourself. Because again, you can only really have that first time mystery solving experience once. I will judge you though. I will feel <laughs> abandoned. Like what, you wanted to play this game more than you wanted to spend time with me? Okay, all right, <laughs> I guess. It's true. But if you can withstand, if you can withstand that judgment, then by all means go and support this game, which yeah. I'll give you another like warning heads up. The environment art in this looks quite nice, uh, but this was originally like, this is a very small team that made this and it was originally a Skyrim mod. And this is a standalone release that came out a couple of years ago. Um, the character animation and stuff in it is similar to Skyrim in a lot of ways, pretty rough around the edges, just to give you all the heads up on that. But even so, I have heard nothing but great things about this game and I'm really excited to see it. So let's go. Yes, I am excited too. A message from the developers. This game was developed by a core team of three people over four years. Your support allows us to continue doing what we love. This is a mystery adventure with multiple <laughs> endings. It rewards thoughtful conversation and exploration, not brute force. The fate of the city is in your hands. Okay. Sounds fun. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not in control of how fast text goes. <laughs> <laughs> Present day. <laughs> Present day. Yeah. Just making sure I got that in time. Thank you. We seem to have plenty of time to get that one, though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll feel it out. We'll get the timing down. There we go. Now, that is not a Roman outfit, to the hey, best of my knowledge. You're alive. <laughs> when I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never going to wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone, maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, want to tell me who you are? I'd love to. Mm. Select your body type. Well, that's a cute way of doing it. Yeah, right. Got any preference? Uh... Mask or femme? Let's do femme. I like it. And skin tone choice. Middle. Middle. And name. Uh oh. Name. Uh. How crumbs the keyboard's way over there. Octavia. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do something really Roman, right? I like it. Sorry, I had to run across the room to grab the keyboard every time. Uh, Octavia. I like that. Keyboard away. Okay. It looks like we're casting a spell. I know it this does. is like <laughs> just a Skyrim to like hey, carry over, but. It does look like we're trying to just like, you will forget you saw me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Complete with our ominous fire. Yeah. <laughs> we just cast an eye of Newt into that fire. Here we go. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? Mm. Big questions. I was searching for an ancient ruin. I was on a covert mission. I was on the run from the law. I barely remember anything. Oh dear. Uh, what's what's the benefits for I was on the run from the law? Because mm. yeah, I just realized we're choosing like uh, this seems to like impact something. Years yeah. of studying history oh, gave you occasional insights into ancient world. Oh, that is oh. real tempting though. Uh, you have a military issue firearm, but only 10 bullets. You'll have to use them judiciously since there's no way to get more. I didn't nah. realize there was combat in this at all. Uh, your time on the run from the authorities has made you quick on your feet. You're a little faster sprinting. Or uh, your recent head trauma has increased your pain threshold, making you 50% harder to take down. Oh, cool. Mm. I do kind of love this though for, I do too. for our purposes, right? All right. Yeah. We were searching for ancient ruins. Oh. You're an archaeologist? But we're also then on the run from the law, just for this. the record. Definitely. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. 
I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him, so I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need... what I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him? If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Hmm. Mind if I ask some questions first? Oh, that seems important. Of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just... What do you want to know? I don't mean to be pushy. I just went through your pockets a few minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the coins, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally found nothing in there. <laughs> Let's see. What's your story? Who's Al? Where are we? What can you tell me about the ruins? Have you tried calling for help? Let's start there. I want to know if she tried calling for help. Did you? What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, <laughs> long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. I don't trust you. Yeah. Um. Let's hear, we'll, we'll role play a little bit. We're archaeologists. This is obviously the first thing we care yes, about. We heard yes. ruins and then didn't hear anything else. <laughs> Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Which you should not touch or move. <laughs> <laughs> we're at, we're role playing. We are. Yeah, <laughs> I like this. I at like what point do already. I get to pick up a rock and lick it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are we though? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. You know, you did tell us Roman ruins, I and I could have say like, well, you know. There are a lot of Roman river ruins, like, all over that place, you know? Yeah. Not just in Italy. Odds were pretty good. <laughs> Odds were good, though. Yeah. Who's Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before Wait, you. Wait, what? <laughs> I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. I'm trying not to talk over her, but I can't predict when like her yep. speech is going to end. I, I'm sure they're going somewhere with this whole like people just mysteriously <laughs> wash up. <laughs> but, like, so far, two out of three people we've been introduced to came in via river washing. Yeah. <laughs> What's your? If she says that she came in here, I mean she came here by boat, I guess. But yeah, she's the only one. That maybe she planned it all. That's the twist. All yeah. right, I figured it out. <laughs> Please tell me you also washed in by river, though. Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? What's your name? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that was a weird way to answer a basic question. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. What the heck? But... No, push on that. Yeah, we're pushing on that. Uh... I'd really like to know, especially if I'm going to be helping you, why don't you want to tell me exactly? First one. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely right, aggressive about fine. this. Sorry if I sounded cagey. It's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. You know, fair <laughs> enough. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tough break out there, huh? <laughs> all, yeah. all those Karen memes have really ruined that name, huh? Yeah, go for uh, it. Yeah, something like that. But right now, I have bigger problems, like finding Al. All right, all right. Like finding Al, the person I just met who also washed up on the river. <laughs> uh. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? Hmm. I'm going in for the priceless artifacts, but I'll keep an eye out. I mean, let's do that one. But to be clear, we are not going to touch or move the priceless artifacts. That is true. We will probably Looking touch or move the priceless very, artifacts very in this likely, video yeah, game. Probably. My hero. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. What a Karen. <laughs> Yay, thank you for the flashlight, though. What a Karen person. <laughs> just abstract yourself for, like, a moment into the world of, of someone who's just like... Here I am taking a trip on my apparently hand carved wooden canoe <laughs> and like two people just randomly wash up on the riverbank. She's honestly keeping it together pretty well. Pretty well. Yeah, she's 
found fish. She's yeah. hanging in there. I guess we didn't ask how long she she's been fire. waiting out here since Al said, don't move. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I was 15 when I arrived. <laughs> Uh, old wooden rowboat. Carrot must have used it to rescue me from the river. So I was joking earlier, my full sympathies to anybody who is named Karen and has had to deal with a lot of this over the last few years. It's probably not seeming super funny to you anymore. I'm sorry, Karen. <laughs> You're a Karen person. <laughs> we have a flashlight and ruins. Let's go. With working torches and everything. Hmm. I mean... A rusted metal torch, which must have been lit by Al. I'm going the right way. All the, the British folks listening were like, yeah, of course the torch is working. You're carrying it. <laughs> torch is a much cooler name than flashlight. They got to have a few like cooler things than we do because like elevator is definitely better than lift. Yeah. Although lorry is better than truck. So mm. I don't know. We could just we could just go back and forth. That's trading true. Who has the cooler words? It's yeah, it's too close to call. <laughs> we definitely know that British like folk have a far higher quantity of ridiculous words. Yes. But in a fun way. I don't want them to stop doing that. Yeah. It's an improvement. Paging will overguard. <laughs> Explain your language. <laughs> Thanks for the language, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a backpack full of worn hiking clothes and empty food pockets. Nothing valuable here, but still seems strange that Al left it behind. He mm -hmm. knew we were coming. Oh, well, we are also leaving it behind, apparently. I guess so, yeah. Can I take the bag? No, we're not going to examine it. Nice bag. Pretty nice bag. Camo, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's got those nice little strappies on it so you can put a water bottle in and just, like, suspend it there. Yeah. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Ooh. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads... You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal oh, life. Oh, oh. <laughs> Romans. <laughs> well, on the one hand, I feel like the Romans were in absolutely no position to judge the virtuous. <laughs> on the other hand, like maybe that's why this place is abandoned. <laughs> life in uh. paradise. The wicked oh, thanks for waiting me for me to like arise from the water, Al. Gold, yeah. <laughs> but in vain, for this shall be their final resting place. I might be okay Could with that. Could an underground that. city have remained a secret for all this time? The people Ooh. have survived Ooh. down there, against the odds. It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this. An invitation. Or a warning. Al Worth. All right, then. What have we got here? Translate. Archaeologist insight. Always remember they're watching. Oh, see, it's good to have this archaeologist thing, because yeah. otherwise I would have been on the spot to translate some Latin. <laughs> and I, I was ready to guess, but I wouldn't have gotten it quite right. Yeah, me either. I mean, Semper. There, there's one. <laughs> I got that for you. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm glad we chose this character class. Yes. Take some of the pressure off me. <laughs> Like, it's, it's a mystery game, so I can't play in advance and see what Latin is coming up to That's prep true. my dictionary. Yeah, we're both just kind of winging it now. Mm -hmm. That's a, yeah, I'm, I won't be putting you on the spot, like, having to <laughs> explain all of Rome, please. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, for those of you who have not seen it, Soraya has joined me before for a couple of different games at this point. Yeah, like, one of them was uh, mm -hmm. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, uh -huh. where we got to enjoy you uh, explaining a good bit of uh, just uh, yes. Greek and Roman history. My beloved Alcibiades and his nasty, nasty behaviors. Just highly recommended if you haven't seen that before. You also joined me for uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising, I believe is the name of it. Yeah. Uh, which was also a good old time. More of mythology than history. But I guess they're pretty well interwoven, but... Yeah. Was it just the two? I think so. Was there a third one? I, it, it feels like we've done more than two, but those are the only two I can remember. I feel like there's a third one too, and I'm blanking. It's been some years that we've yeah. been doing things. A young Roman woman in pose of lamentation. Hmm. Ponytails. Hmm. Lot of gold statuary. 
A Roman gladiator mid-stride. What could have made a gladiator flee? I mean, a lot. <laughs> yeah, like gladiators in the day-to-day -day probably had a lot more reason to run away from things than most of us. Exactly. My job doesn't require fleeing all that often. Not never, but... I'm I'm a producer, so sometimes I have to flee. Like, <laughs> here's your new Jira ticket. Bye. <laughs> and I guess that's why we flee as well. We see a Jira ticket coming. <laughs> oh no! Here comes the producer. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. A young Roman woman looks like she was begging for her life. That's unfortunate. I was gonna say earlier that like ending my life showered in gold didn't seem like the worst. Like at least you could do the Scrooge McDuck thing on your way out. <laughs> but it seems like rather than my, what I was picturing, which is a Scrooge McDuck pool full of gold, they mean maybe you turn into gold. Yeah. That's less fun. Who's whispering at me? Ooh. I don't know, but maybe we should quick save. <laughs> you know, not a bad idea. I do have the keyboard over here now. It's just such an ominous thing. <laughs> Very. A Roman military commander attempting to scramble away from something. Very air of like Mount Vesuvius. Yeah. Hmm. I bet I've already run past ten interesting things. <laughs> we have mysteries to solve. We That's can't true. be paying attention to details. Who has time? Those details should speak up. Exactly. A Roman woman who appears to be praying for help that never came. I am sensing a theme. Mm-hmm. You know, considering... I'm thinking back on the message that Al left. Uh-huh. Oh, that's gruesome. Mm-hmm. This looks a little more contemporary. Yeah, it does. A golden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al, but how is that possible? Oh, well, I mean, that's kind of a a, a, a leap in terms of logic, but sure. I'm a good detective. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> solved it. You solved the mystery. <laughs> Don't ever Off this. I go back into the river. I'm sorry you oh. had to find me like this. And worse, she'll suffer the same fate I did. Come again? I've spent a lifetime in this place. Going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, or that godforsaken doorway into the past. Ooh, doorway into the past. Stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now and find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Okay, so I was already reflecting on the note that Al left where he's like, I've stepped through this portal into whatever implied other existence and you should join me there, new arrival. But think about that in the context of he left Karen outside and was like, no matter what, don't follow me. <laughs> yeah. Well, did, you, did At what point did you know you weren't coming back? Mm-hmm. Hmm. But yeah, I am a little curious about the portal now. Oh, yeah, we got to step into the portal like any good archaeologist would. It's Absolutely. Like, this is like just one step higher than licking the rock. <laughs> If you want to scare people away from something, you're going to have to make it sound less cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and look less cool. Right? Hello there. I'm definitely walking into that. <laughs> I do wonder if the game does let you just like wander back out to Karen and be like, yep, he's dead. Bye. <laughs> Although I guess, no, it dropped us down a tunnel. That is true. Going back is going to be tricky. Yeah, a little bit hard. Well, what's done is done. Mm -hmm. Let's lick rocks. <laughs> a re Roman relief depicting a great circular portal and two women. I wonder who they could be. Don't look at me. I do not know. 
Yeah, I'm wondering, like, obviously you could not prepare for this game in advance, but I'm wondering if your, like, bit of grounding in Roman history going in will give us an edge. I'm wondering, too, and I'm also wondering, like, how often I'm going to be, like, caught with some very obvious thing or what should be a very obvious thing that I'm like, ooh, look at this new mystery in the game. Like, those two <laughs> women could be, like, a women from a famous myth that I should recognize, but instead I'm like, yeah. maybe it's particular to this story. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Um. Mm. A lot of good questions. I think... <laughs> <laughs> I think the archaeologist in us wants to hmm, do we want to screw with them or do we want to preserve the past? What's our what's mm. our angle here? What's our characterization? Our archaeologists trained for like an unexpected time travel sort of situation <laughs> of like, I know not to screw up things in my time. How do I avoid yeah. screwing up things if I'm actually there? That's like year one. That's archaeology 101. Gotcha. It's don't take the artifacts away from where you found them. And also, if you do find yourself like sent into the past for some reason, be careful not to mess with the timeline. Gotcha. Every hmm. archaeologist knows that. <laughs> well, here, we'll, we'll ask about the shrine. Yeah, you know, agricultural goddess of springtime. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, it's H. John Benjamin, I isn't it? It is. you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try. But I'll ask again, who are you? And what were you doing in the shrine? Or if it's not, it really sounds like him. Uh, <laughs> I think we got lost. Let's, I think we got let's lost. Let's try to preserve the timeline, yeah. like, like our professor told us. Oh, is that right? Well, just make sure you don't get lost in any other sacred places you're not supposed to be. Can't have you disrespecting the gods by accident, can we now? But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you, you seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Your laws? His face not is not laws, conveying reassurance law. to be. <laughs> no. There's just one, the golden rule, and the punishment for breaking it's... Well, it's kind of horrific, but our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Um, all right, lead the way. Follow me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out, but it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your pretty new friend, Galerius? Yes, please do. Give it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking her to see the magistrate. That pompous old boar won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. There's 23 uh, of you. <laughs> I'd stay clear of it and her, if I were you. She's, uh, it's not my place to say. Seemed nice to me. Mm -hmm. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh, that one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind, Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing. Just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the magistrate and the other patricians live. So Again, there's 23 of you. How is there tradition? <laughs> How do you have patricians? Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. 
What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Greetings, citizen. Hello. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Um. Let's ask him what this is about. Yeah, what's this about? I expect the magistrate wants to brief you about the Golden Rule. It shouldn't take too long. He's busy preparing for the election later today. All right. Let's do it. Me. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the Golden Rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the Collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the Golden Rule is exactly ten times worse. The Magistrate can explain the rest. He's up these stairs. So presumably if you screw up badly enough, everybody dies. That's the impression I get. Yeah, that's <laughs> the mathematical you implication. <laughs> you seem nice. <laughs> oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? What do I want? I want to know her story. What is your story? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? It's the new fashion. Um, I'm not from around here. Really? I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? I don't remember. You started it. You did it. start it, though. I, that part I do remember, actually. I mean, like, we initiated conversation, but you're the one who was like, hey, let me comment on you as you walk by. That's true. Well, I guess that is kind of a mean girl thing. You're not necessarily supposed <laughs> to respond. Um. What does she think about the golden rule? Yeah, do you have thoughts on that one? You know, some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing god who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent god would let my sister go missing on his or her watch. Hmm. Hmm. Second one. Yeah, maybe it's best if you don't go insulting the gods just in case. Oh, I'd say it to their faces if they had the courage to show themselves. Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward. Where is my sister? Don't yell at me, I don't know. You have to say for yourself. <laughs> no response. Nothing. That's what I thought. Turn her into gold. Hey. Uh, <laughs> well, at least we know blasphemy doesn't break the golden rule. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. Well, I suppose we'll find out sooner or later. Hmm. I suppose we will. Um. Sure. Do you know a way out of here? Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. Um, can I help? I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? Are there real harpies? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know, don't know a lot about this place yet. Uh, I know that one. Do oh, you know this one? Yeah, that's just how Roman names work. You pass down the family name and it really sucks if you're a woman because you basically just get the family name but a feminine version of it. Oh, fun. So like any daughter of Julius Caesar... Julia. Even if he has multiple ones. <laughs> <laughs> Creative. Right? Um. When did you last see her? It was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. 
That's it. Got raptured. Hmm. Uh, she was seeing someone? I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Um, why? Maybe because you're a judgment jerk. Because our father had plans to marry her <laughs> off, eventually. And even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. Hmm. Who was she going to marry? There's 23 of you! <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, between her proposed husband and her secret lover, that's like yeah, nearly like... a tenth of the population. <laughs> <laughs> I am starting to wonder if the 23 is specifically like the, the us that uh, our friend who introduced us to the place was like, he seems to think of like me uh, like you like us versus our them. character being like something similar to him in a weird sort of way he didn't really specify um like maybe th there's only 23 of types of our types around but mm. i don't know I, it does seem like literally there's 23 people here <laughs> from the sound of <laughs> it really the rest narrows of it. down the mystery you know yeah and we can i hope rule out at least one more and that she's probably not in an affair with her own father probably i mean we're talking about rome here but <laughs> Probably. I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared, and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. Well, we'll we'll keep an eye out. So you'll help me find her. Uh, sure. Sure. I feel like oh, she was giving us sass for offering. <laughs> She's like, help me out. The one just by the <laughs> Maybe you'll find something the rest of us missed. It did sort of sound sarcastic a little bit up front, but maybe mm -hmm. this is just, maybe she can't help it. Maybe this is just how she sounds when she says everything. She has RBF. <laughs> I can't say what that means on the channel. <laughs> I'm trying to be good today. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. This is kind of cool, actually. I'll see what I can do versus I'll get right on it, which this just bumps it, like, like activates the quest of the objective Let's marker. Let's get show right up. on it. I want to check out this mysterious missing sister's bedroom and see what clues we can get into. Yeah, I'm curious. Thank you. You're welcome. Should we go see the magistrate first or do we bail? I mean, we have to go to her room because we decided to make it our priority. That is true. The quest marker is right over yeah, here. Yeah, there's a marker and everything. Hmm. I've, we've played Assassin's Creed. We know not to ignore <laughs> the quest marker, right? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we did learn our lesson. <laughs> Note from Scintilla. Uh, Scintilla to Cynthia and Cynthia. May Clementia give you the strength to forgive me. I'm sorry to have to leave you this way, but I found a way to escape, and I must take it. I hope we meet again someday. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we get to take that one. Yep. Keeping that one. Couldn't bring the backpack. Nope. <laughs> a ceramic ink jar it appears to be made from soot and water mm -hmm. um, a small vial containing a rudimentary perfume made from flowers and oil now I don't know if I'm seeing a lot of interactable, in, like, interactable objects here, so... It, we do have to look at all of them. <laughs> I was about to say, like, okay, if this, was a, if this was a Skyrim mod, then that means <laughs> originally, literally everything was interactable. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> but we're detectives in a detective place. That is true. We are in a detective place. There was a brass mirror, too. Yeah. Yeah, this one looks more important. The brass has been polished into a rudimentary mirror, which has been made... Uh, which has been... Has has that's what I was tripping over. Which has has been used for applying makeup. For once, it really is in the text. <laughs> I always appreciate that when the text can take a little bit of blame. <laughs> oh, Ooh, money we naughty. can steal. No, nah. we don't take artifacts. <laughs> it's true. We just pick unless, them all up. Yeah, unless it's necessary for progression <laughs> or a mysterious note left by a disappeared person that no one else needs or wants, surely. Oh, don't mind exactly. me. Exactly. I just live here. I, I'm Madam. really lost track. Do you want help or not? <laughs> what have you discovered? How did you guys not find this? Yeah. <laughs> I found a letter in her room which mentioned her plan to escape. What? Really? I swear, I searched her room top to bottom and never saw uh, it. I wonder how I could have missed it. Strange, but well done, I suppose. But it's odd. 
It was only a few months ago that Santilla's friend Yulia let slip she was planning an escape of her own. And yet, Yulia's still here. You should go and speak with her. Find out if she knows anything. She lives in the villa next door. Hey, why not? Especially if there's a quest marker. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So can I, like, pick and choose quests? Can I... Mm. Uh, ah! There we go. To see the objective markers for a given quest, click the eye icon beside it. Okay, I think we should learn the golden rule, though, before we go. We should probably learn that. Go too far off. It'd be really good to learn what... <laughs> Will get everyone killed. <laughs> yeah. We should definitely know what not to do. Yeah, it's the second thing. Yes, I agree. Second priority in coming to the city. First, investigate missing girl's room. Second, learn how not to get everyone killed. Right. Yeah, I want to investigate, but... Maybe that's the golden rule. I don't know. <laughs> What's up? No investigate. Stay out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap, no. <laughs> We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? I'm Octavia. A curious name. Don't it's very, curious very Roman. Accent. Thank you very much. <laughs> but I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of Athena. You must be a woman of great learning. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains, many hundreds of years ago. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. I, our... I can professionally appreciate this. Exactly. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? I've never witnessed something so extraordinary as a city with only 23 people in it. Yeah, also that. <laughs> and I've been accused of fashion crimes already, so. <laughs> That's true. That's true. We have committed a crime. I, until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. There's 23 of us if and that's not enough to sustain a bloodline. commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. That is a lot. Oh, yeah. I huh? was just... I, I was just wondering that first question, what counts as a sin here? Because, yeah, that's, like, please tell me that one up front. Yeah. I, that seems like the most important bit of information. There's a An wide range question. of things. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. 
We must uphold the laws of the Empire oh, to that a would standard be hellish. never mm, before seen. Yeah. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. But you don't have any goats to sacrifice. And we did lie almost first thing here, so you can check that off the list. Oh, <laughs> oh dang i just missed Aww. oh that's okay should we add a counter yeah let's <laughs> no. go ahead and add a counter if i i win if it stays at one. <laughs> oh my goodness i want to i want to do the second one because that's <laughs> yeah this doesn't seem like the, the, the like specifically not the place to get into it <laughs> No, I want to. I want to get into it. Oh, okay. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Like, what is legal is always moral, and many of your laws and customs are considered barbaric where I'm from. Yeah. Barbaric? Barbaric? What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Mm. Sit down. Let's Rome talk about imperialism. Is a of light in the darkness. For 800 years, she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting mm. the rights of our citizens, mm. which have unified <laughs> countless warring tribes all Ooh. across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin mm -mm. or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food rations. And yeah. when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Yeah. Our laws forbid <laughs> treason, murder, assault, and rape, as well as theft and arson, and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbaric? That sounded like a not great uh, hit to miss ratio based on the sounds I was hearing from you <laughs> <laughs> during that very well prepared speech. I mean, <laughs> it... <laughs> you're laughing a lot. <laughs> it does sound, I'll give him this, it does sound like what an imperialist would say and genuinely believe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My mistake. They didn't have. I'll give. I'll also give him this. Like the color of your skin was not directly the reason you were treated differently, but being from an area that happened to have been recently conquered, regardless of the color of your skin tone, would cause you to be treated slightly differently. Yeah, and I feel like we have a lot of fair follow-up questions. Like, don't your laws allow slave ownership? Don't your people watch blood sports for entertainment? Uh -huh. Don't women have fewer rights than men? Don't you persecute Christians? Don't you practice collective punishment? Yeah, you get to pick your favorite. Hmm. That was kind of a conspicuous sort of thing. It's like, hey, like, no matter the color of your skin or sexual preference, and no other thing I can think of, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you have the same amount of rights in our, in our land. <laughs> so this seems like a good one to point out. Let's do it. Of course, but with fewer rights come fewer oh my responsibilities. God. And the right to be protected by their fathers and husbands. Ah, uh, there we go. No further questions. <laughs> I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. Kind of seems like your job. Yeah, but further confirmation that lying is safe, so we're good. Um, <laughs> what did you mean when you said uh, Proserpina sent me? Uh, why can't you investigate? Do you have any suspects? If I do this, will you help me get back to my own time? That's going to be a lot to lay on him. Uh, <laughs> these questions will all be available later. Oh, that's good to know. Appreciate that. Cool. Um, I want to know about uh, Proserpina sending us. I do, too. That's you Persephone, see, by the way. I oh, for a way to save I didn't know that. Thanks. People, You're welcome. <laughs> I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? Oh, well, that'd be easier than I thought. <laughs> it's like, uh, yes, I do. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 we got we got a lot of stuff too. Oh, come on. Yeah. We promised our professor. 
<laughs> Granted, <laughs> professor didn't prepare us for this exactly, but <laughs> we swore, swore an archaeologist oath, I assume. Yes. A pointless lie. I know. Please tell me, <laughs> in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? Um... I didn't see anything. <laughs> Listen, you haven't earned my truth. <laughs> that is true. And yeah. Lie all you want, but I see the truth in your eyes. <laughs> What's the point of asking? <laughs> um, Wait, what ritual? How does the ritual work? Uh, I may have been well, too busy nacing him to notice the ritual. <laughs> I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases, a live animal. But in this case, it's Horatius, in that this jerk. this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? I did see human remains in the temple. Oh, our jig is up. We can't lie I anymore. That was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? I'll do my best. Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. You're so much more inclined to be nice than I am. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to be mean. Yeah. Uh, I think it's because I'm not piloting the game. Like, when I'm playing the game, I'm like, I, I want everyone to be nice to me. Like, full Paragon. <laughs> all the good things. But as I can soon see as, that. Yeah, as soon as you're piloting the game, there's enough of a layer of abstraction there that I'm just like... <laughs> That's interesting. Actually, I bet that probably would be the same way if you were steering. I'd be more... I'd be less inclined to always go for the... No, I'm nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you have any suspects? That does seem do important. Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Fair enough. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Confrontational. True, but we're asking the hard questions. How do I know you're not the person responsible? Me? Why would you suspect me? I've just told you, I'm about to sacrifice my own life to ensure these people have a second chance. What reason could you possibly have to suspect me, of all people? Mm, your daughter's a jerk. <laughs> she got it from somewhere. When... It's a pretty good counterpoint, though. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Without trust, without each other, we won't be able to prevent what is about to happen. Uh, do you think it could be rela related to Centella's disappearance? Ah, so you know about that already. It's a devastating loss, of course, but that was over three weeks ago, and whatever happened to her, it didn't break the golden rule, so I don't think it's connected with our imminent demise. Still, if you happen to find her and return her to me, I would be eternally grateful. I'm suddenly having suspicions about the stranger outside. <laughs> uh, fair enough. If I do all this, will you help me get back to my own time? If I understand Persepina's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created oh, a no. paradox. Oh, no. Oh, boy. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Just what I promised Excellent. Professor Constant I wouldn't. Yeah, we're going to be in big trouble. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, that's all my questions. Thank you. Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? All right, I'm in. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, 
talk to everyone, help them if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless of course you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. All right then. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I want to I want to follow up the lead about his daughter who has exercised her right to be protected by her husband or father. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> by but, disappearing. But we're going to investigate that next time. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time for some more of the Forgotten City, and we'll see what sort of mysteries we can solve here. Bye! Bye! Bye.